Back here on Sports Report, alongside Chris Park, I am Matthew Hatfield. Well, we head out to Suffolk now, Chris, as the Kings Fork Bulldogs play host to the Heritage Hurricanes. Last year, it was Kings Fork knocking Heritage out of the Ironclad Conference Tournament. No regional berth on the line just yet between these two teams contending for first place in the regular season title, but again, important because the number one seed is at stake. Yeah, no, of, of course, having bragging rights as well, and for Kings Fork, no stranger to postseason play. They want to get a nice tune-up in before February turns turns into March and early on the Bulldogs at home will look to the half court offense and a nice defense by the Hurricanes as a block shot leads to the transition the other way. That's the reigning Ironclad Conference Player of the Year, Romello Anderson going coast to coast and you see he might repeat as Player of the Year. This Hurricanes team playing better half court defense as you see Anderson driving again. They were 3-7 and seven to start the year. Now they are looking at an 11-8 record going into this matchup. Yeah, finding their stride at just the right time as Anderson again scores the two and the harm as he'll go to the free throw line and going to the second quarter. It's an early three-point advantage for the visiting Hurricanes. Kings Fork won the first meeting by four in Newport News, and in order to win again, they know the three-point shots have to be falling. That time it's Thais Presley with the swish. And going back the other way come the Hurricanes as they again look to push the ball, but nice defensive play made by the Bulldogs leads to transition and the layup for two as the basket put in by Chris Roscoe. Junior center very important inside. Got a battle from the sophomore Leland Richardson of Heritage. 11 points, 14 rebounds and Keith Stagg from long distance. His only make, however, averages 18 points per game. Held to just one field goal in this contest. Yeah, if you're going to pull up from long range like that, you better make it go in. As going to the second half, the Hurricanes down by four and we'll see Kings Fork looking again to make baskets and transition as Roscoe with a one-hand slam and the Bulldogs continue their march down the court. Bulldogs down 11 would actually go up by a point in the third quarter, but the freshman guard Michael Cunningham, he's got a nice feature ahead of him with a driving hoop to put Heritage back up a point. Still third quarter action now. It's 38-37 seesaw affair and Kings Fork in the half court gets the left-hand layup to go as the basket is put in by Cameron Little. Cameron Little, one of those guys from the football field for the Bulldogs, and this time a turnover for Kings Fork leading to a fast break run out, and Romello Anderson will stuff it down. Romello has got all kinds of offensive skills, as you see there, the high-flying hops to put it in, and now the mid-range jumper is good for Anderson, as he again connects from the elbow, keeping Heritage afloat in this one, now leading by four, going into the final stanza. Mello would close out the third quarter with the last four points and had 12 of his 23 in the final nine minutes. The hot hand indeed, and this time going off the window for the deuce. And now we see a nice drive by Heritage, and the shot is up and good for Marcus Van Hook, a star in the football field, getting it done on the hard court. And now the Kings Fork defense is going to come up with a much needed play as the steal in the press is going to lead to a missed opportunity, though, and Heritage is able to hang on to it. Strong rebound by Richardson, leading to a Run out and layup for Justice Fort Leroy as Heritage showing its poise on the road down the stretch to come out with a nine point victory. Yeah, a huge victory for the Hurricanes in this one as they win 62 to 53. Romello Anderson, a game high 23 points, 9 of 15 from the field. Leland Richardson, 11 points and 14 boards, a double double for the Hurricane there. And Chris Roscoe with a team high 14 points to lead the Bulldogs. 